This is a Fedora 3, a high-performance single-board computer aimed at makers who need advanced machine learning in their projects. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Just like its Raspberry Pi competitors, it's a one-of-a-kind credit card-sized single-board computer that packs much into a small form factor. It has the AmLogic A311D SoC coupled with 2 or 4 gigabytes of RAM and 16 or 32 gigabytes of onboard eMMC flash depending on the configuration you buy. Here is the spec sheet. As you can see, for the CPU or SoC in this case, it has the AmLogic A311D which is a 2.2 GHz quad-core ARM Cortex-A73 and a 1.8 GHz dual-core Cortex-A53 CPU. It also has the ARM G52 MP4 GPU at 800 MHz. This is a quad-core design. Here you can see it has a Neural Processing Unit or MPU. It has a performance of 5 trillion operations per second and supports all major deep learning frameworks including TensorFlow and CAFE. You can also see that the specification is given for the 2GB and 4GB RAM models including 16GB or 32GB of eMMC flash storage. Links below for the spec sheet and other details. Here's me playing Battle Bay to showcase the gaming performance. It seems pixelated but it's much more clear in real life. This is just a benchmark to show that it can play any game regularly. Let's talk about the ports on this device. It has two USB A's, out of which this one is a USB 3 and this one is a USB 2. This is a USB C 2.0 port, which supports OTG, an HDMI 2.1 port, Ethernet, which is a gigabit type, as well as a 40 pin GPIO. This GPIO has I2C, I2S, debug UR, SPI, as well as a USB header. Let's turn it on the back, shall we? Here you can see it has a MIPI CSI connector, MIPI DSI, a touch panel connector, M.2 PCIe 2.1 one lane port, the SD card slot, and a special V in port. You can also see the AmLogic A311D SoC as well as the 4GB of RAM and the eMMC 5.1 flash memory. You can see that it has three buttons out of which the first one is the power button, the function, and the reset button. You can also see that this is the Wi-Fi module, which is the AP6398S. And also you can see that it has some LEDs here, as well as the IR transmitter and receiver. The VIM3 is based on a 12 nanometer architecture, which means it's thermally stable and doesn't get too much hot. Compared to the Raspberry Pi, you can run this without a heatsink and it can run properly for long periods of time. But nevertheless, you should put a heatsink on it because any heat generated will damage computer electronics. Back on the front, you can see it has an RTC header as well as a fan header for the Kadas 3705 fan. The Vim 3 is an Android development board, which means it can run Android out of the box. 
You can also install Linux on it using micro SD card or a USB drive, depending on what you want. Overall, the VIM3 has a powerful SoC, has fast I.O., integrated neural processing unit, suitable for fast processing, object detection, and machine learning, has a small form factor, and is suitable for Android and Linux development. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.